I think something that we've learned is, is definitely food temperature. I use my little kitchen thermometer all the time. <laughs> like it's it's in the kitchen. I have a, the magnet that we got at one point that has, you know, safe food temperatures. It's on my refrigerator and I never ever remember these numbers. And so I'm always checking temperatures and consulting and making sure that, you know, things are cooked to the right temperature family sessions the most because it was something that I was able to get something from it, the kids were able to get something from it, and we were able to get that together. And so it was, we were hearing the same information, and so it was when we'd go home and make a meal, and I'd say, oh, by the way, you know, you guys need to be careful that you're not, you know, for example, cutting on the same cutting board with meat and vegetables. It was, we both heard the same information, and so we were both able to, you know, remind each other maybe that this is how we need to be doing things in the kitchen. Um, I've always been really good with that, but I think having reminders sometimes, or just new ideas of how to how to shop, mm -hmm. you know, thinking about uh, like looking at the price labels and realizing that price per you know ounce or pound or however it is that they have it, you know, and the differences between the store brand and the you know the name brand, mm -hmm. you know, and realizing that really they're the same product. Right. You don't have to have you know, the name brand, brand national brand of okay. whatever it is. You know, and the kids hearing that too. I think that the kids hearing these things because the kids have it in their head that, you know, they need to have the national brand of certain things because their friends have it or whatever. Cross contamination and the when in doubt, throw it out. <laughs> it's like if you don't know how long it's been out or how long it's been in the fridge, then just <laughs> throw it out. <laughs> I have a about an eight by eight garden, mm -hmm. but it just like I put more things in there because I I had space before between things, mm -hmm. but I I kind of realized like the carrots will come up or the radishes will come up, so I can plant the radishes and carrots by each other because the carrots will be there longer, and it's just like I can squish more things in there, mm -hmm. I guess beans and tomatoes. The tomatoes I had to, the ones I planted, it was just huge, great big tomato plant in the middle of my garden. So, and I, I used the, um, like the small spaces. I, I had a bunch of um, cinder blocks that I put on the side and filled it with dirt and planted corn in there and tomatoes and um, spices or whatever. Mm. So, it's just using a lot of things that. Is, it was in my garage and I didn't know what else I was going to do with them and I put them all on the side so it's just like I'd have a little garden this big or a strip of garden long. So. <laughs>